What's happening guys? I'm your boy Benji and I'm super excited today to show you how you could start to build your glutes of your dreams. Step one to building your glutes is learning how to activate them. And today I wanna to show you guys some amazing exercises you can do to learn to activate your peach at home, at the gym. You don't need any equipment, all you need is your body and a cute smile. So without further ado guys, let's get into it. I love to activate my glutes by being on all fours. All fours is just like this, how you see me now, team. So the first exercise we're gonna go through today is the straight leg kickback. This is kind of the OG movement for glute activation. So you're gonna have one leg that's gonna kick back just like this. Now, you're always wanting to keep that core nice and tight. You never wanna have that stomach hanging out. You really wanna brace your stomach, really keep that core tight. So this is a very simple movement, really. And all you have to do, and I like to have my toe pointed, is extend and kick back just like this. So if you're super new, if you've never done this before, a really great thing to do is hold your leg up to really feel this glute engage. So I'm gonna squeeze that glute for a couple seconds to really feel that glute start to engage. And I'm gonna come it back, we're gonna bring my leg back down. Once my toe touches the ground, I'm gonna come straight back up again and hold it. So one of the things when you're learning how to activate your glutes for the first time is you really wanna milk these isometric holds is what we call them. And this is a hold at the top. Of course, just doing reps will be good, but when you really wanna build that mind-muscle connection, you really wanna squeeze and hold at the top. The key in this motion though, is you don't wanna to extend too far back. Sometimes if you extend too far back, your lower back will get involved and your lower back will start to hurt. If you notice that, it means you're kicking too far back. You kinda gotta find that sweet spot in the straight leg kickback. And once that glute's fully shortened, then you know, cause you'll feel it. So this is an amazing exercise, I promise you. If you just did 50 to 100 reps of these bad boys, boy oh boy, you're ever gonna feel that glute on fire. So that's my first glute activation exercise is the straight leg kickback. Number two is a donkey kick. This is another incredible exercise. If you look at donkeys or horses, they got some peaches and for good reason. The donkey kick also mimics that sort of sprinting motion. Now, the key in this motion here is you're bending your knee. So you have to bend your knee and you're almost making this L shape, okay? You can rest your forearms just like this if you'd like or be up, doesn't really matter. The idea here is you want to kick your heel to the back of your head. That's what I'm thinking about. It's not so much out. I see a lot of people when they do their donkey kicks, they kind of kick out like this. You're going to get more of a glute contraction if you can actually almost curl your leg back. That's the idea. I'm trying to curl my leg back to my head to really engage that glute muscle. You're keeping that core tight and I'm squeezing and I'm kicking that heel straight back. Wow, what an intense burn the donkey kick is. Once again, another 50 to 100 reps per leg, you're gonna really feel that glute light up. You have to keep that core tight though, because you, this will start to hurt your lower back if you're not keeping your core tight. The donkey kick is an absolute must for glute activation. Number three for glute activation is the fire hydrant or the clamshell. This is a classic. This is where I'm on all fours again here, and basically I'm, Think of like what doggies do at the fire hydrants, right? They're gonna lift their leg for a little tinkle. But this is the motion that we're mimicking. This is an abduction motion as I'm kicking my knee out. So the really big key here is you're cleating with that knee. I think when I do this motion is I'm kicking my knee to the wall. I'm kicking my knee out. That's what I'm thinking about to engage the glute. Once again, this is another great exercise to do an isometric hold on and really squeeze and hold as I kick out. As I come up, I'm gonna hold it up. And this is also gonna show you how tight your hips are. If you have really tight hips, you might not have a lot of range on this. So this is another fantastic exercise to really work on that hip mobility as I'm rotating and squeezing up just like this. These three exercises from the straight leg kickback to the donkey kick to the fire hydrant are a great little circuit that you can do to get that glute fired up. Now, to hit more of the glute max, which is a big meaty part of the glute. You're never gonna go wrong with some glute bridges. This actually might be arguably one of the best exercises you could ever do. If I was, I always like to do this little game. If I was stranded on an island and I could only pick one exercise, this might be it. If you also have sore knees, I get asked a lot, hey coach Nunzi, how can I build my glutes without doing squatting or lunging? 
because my knees are so painful. This is it. So the glute bridge, guys, is one of the best exercises you could do to really activate your glutes and light up that posterior chain. You're gonna be on your backside here. Now, the most important thing is really finding the foot position. If my feet are like this, I'm gonna to get too much hamstring. And if they're too close in, right amount of leverage. So the idea is you wanna find that sweet spot for your own body, but I usually think about a foot from where my glute is to my heels out. And it's pretty simple. I like to have my hands flat and I'm gonna squeeze up, driving up right through the glutes there, getting that nice squeeze as I come back down slowly. Once again, guys, you have to milk the isometric hold on this. You don't want to miss it. You really want to hold and squeeze, hold and squeeze as you come back down. One more time, squeeze it up. I'm really driving through my heels. You can even see my toes are off the ground, but I'm lifting those hips up, squeezing those glutes as hard as I can. I would strongly recommend playing around with single leg glute bridges. Most of us have a stronger or weaker side. This will tell you it's the same premise as well as I'm lifting up that glute, driving through the heel, and working on that isometric squeeze and hold at the top. So the glute bridges, guys, absolutely fantastic. You can play around with different foot stances. You can go a wide sumo, which your feet are outside shoulder width, or you can go into a tight stance, which is gonna work more glute max. Now, finally, one of my favorite glute peach activations. This is insane. I call this a bad girl. So what you're doing is at the top of a glute bridge, you're going to kick your knees out. You're going to kick your knees out. Now the key in this motion though, guys, is you have to keep your hips up. If you drop your glutes, you're gonna lose it. You gotta keep those hips up as you kick your knees out. Kick your knees out. <laughs> wow, what an absolute burger this is. I promise you, your peach is gonna be on fire. So once again, another great little circuit that I like to do is I'll start with maybe a wide sumo glute bridge, then I'll move into a short stance glute bridge, then I'll move into some single leg glute bridges, and then I'll do a final finisher with the bad girls as I hold up and squeeze and kick those knees out. Wow. This is the building blocks of glute activation. So if you are new to the gym, or you're new to fitness, or if you're new to just growing your glutes, this is how to start. I would not recommend putting weight in your hands. I wouldn't recommend getting under a barbell until you've really mastered this. Because once you can build that really strong mind-muscle connection to your glute muscles, that will pay off massively when you get under the bar and you do things like hip thrusting and deadlifting and squatting. Most people skip this step. They kind of, you know, on social media, They'll see people doing squats or lunges and think, okay, I'll go right to it, but they don't have that basis there. There's no groundwork. There's no mind-muscle connection. And once again, guys, the, 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 the major key to building muscle isn't about moving weight. It's about contracting muscles through the movement of the weight. Practice these exercises. Do these every single day for a month, and I promise you, your glute activation will be off the charts. Watch your knee pain get extremely better, and all your lower back pain as well will start to dissipate. I'm telling you right now, the glutes are the brakes of the body. They're more than just looking good in a pair of jeans. So guys, make sure you save this video. Do me a favor and share your pancaking need. If you're not excited, get excited. Peaches, ahoy. <laughs>